Good morning, you lovely leaders of Farmington High School. Welcome back to The Nest. Today is Friday, December 13th, and you're watching the fall finale of The Early Bird. I'm Sean Jackson. And I'm Wesley Cook. Today for lunch, we're going to be having grilled cheese, sandwiches, and hamburgers. Sophomores, there will be a recruiting opportunity today during both lunches for, as, for ASMSA Hot Springs. The yearbooks are the cheapest price of the year. That's $45. Make sure to pick up an order from the main office, Ms. Bunsgaard, or your English teachers. The prices will go up once again after December 31st. Applications are now open for Camp War Eagle for sophomores and juniors. Make sure to enroll by December 15th. As usual, Yoga Club meets during both lunches in Ms. Fusen's room. Sophomores and juniors, there is a course interest survey on your respective Google Classrooms. It includes state level changes, gauging student interest and meeting FHS needs. Thank you to all who wore hats today. Your support for Officer Carr is very appreciated. Seniors, fill out the Google Forms in your Google Classroom to vote on where to go for project graduation. Finally, here's a quote to ponder upon. It is always the simple that precedes the marvelous. Amila Barr. Thank you, Farmington. Now it's time for what you all have been anxiously awaiting, your Farmington weekend weather with the best meteorologist you know, Reed, Reed Petrie. Petrie. Thank you all, and hello, ho, ho, everyone. I am Farmington's greatest showman or snowman, Reed Petrie, and this is your Farmington weekend weather. This week's weather report covers a bit more than just our weekend, since after today, with exemptions, it's winter break. But first, I have a very important announcement to make. This is breaking news, people. The winner of the penny drive from this week is Miss Clark. Congratulations to that class. All right, now let's see what's happening for the weather for this weekend first. There's a high of 55 degrees today with the low down to 35 degrees. Tomorrow will be quite a bit cooler with a high of just 45 degrees. Sunday will get slightly warmer up to 49 degrees with a 60% chance of rain on Sunday night. Next week will get even cooler as winter approaches with highs hovering in the 40s. The first day of winter will be on December 21st with a pretty winter-esque 46 degree high. Now it's a long ways out, but the forecast for Christmas Day does exist. It's a little less than two weeks away, but the forecast currently shows not a white Christmas, but a wet Christmas with a decent chance of rain throughout the day. The high on Christmas is currently 52 degrees with the low still above freezing at 36 right now. Thank you all for joining us for our early bird fall finale and have a happy winter break and a Merry Christmas. Now it's time for another festive edition of Cooking with Cards. Good morning Farmington and Merry Christmas. I'm back and better than ever. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask, where were you that day? Why don't you just keep your mouth shut, Brian? Anyway, I hope you all are all excited because today we are making something especially delectable. Today we're making chocolate peppermint fudge. Now doesn't that sound delectable? Yeah, and all you need to make it is three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, three fourths cup of peppermint baking chips, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of butter, and sprinkles for topping. Let me guess. To make this recipe, all you need to do is line an eight by eight dish with cooking spray. Then stir together the chocolate chips, condensed milk, and butter in a microwave safe bowl and microwave in one minute in increments, stirring between until the chocolate is completely melted. How do they keep doing that? Doing what? Nothing. Afterwards, you should have a pretty thick mixture and you can stir in the vanilla extract and then the peppermint chips. Cover and refrigerate for one to two hours or until firm. Two hours is a long time. Good that we have nothing better to do. And we're done! Already done? Already done! Well, 
Well, good golly. Looks like meticulous planning and forethought is finally paid off. That is some tasty looking fudge. Well, 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 what do we have here? Why, this is our extra delectable chocolate peppermint fudge. Do you want to try some? Well, would I? Would you? <laughs> would you? Oh well, God. yeah. Mmm. Wowee. That just might be the best thing I've ever had. Can I have another bite? Well, you already had a bite out of that piece, so I would hope you didn't put it back. Ah, thank goodness. Thank you so much. Well, Farmington, I have to say, this recipe is a success. I'll have to agree with that one. And now for our, the, our word of the day. Delectable, highly pleasing, delicious, and most importantly, yummy in my tummy. Get out right now. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to this delectable episode of Cooking with Cards. Merry Christmas and have a great break.